What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, here to share my insights on the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors. Salute to y'all for pulling up on the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up like button for the YouTube algorithm and do not forget to subscribe. So we are back with another Shiba Inu update. You know, I already checked the few spots where we can normally find daily content on Sheep. Not too much going on from the team side of things. So let's check out what the community has to say. But first, let's check out the overall crypto market by market cap here on coin market cap looking at uh overall number 845 billion dollars right now so the market is down 2.4 percent where it was yesterday slightly pulling back so you're going to feel this in your investments you're going to look at your portfolios overall and see a lot of the things possibly in the red so as you can see if we just glance over this list of top you know 30 40 coins right here we see a lot more red than we do green so we got Bitcoin at 17,359 right now, down about two and a half percent. We got Ethereum back under 13 at 1265, down 3.3 percent for the day. We got BNB at 255. We're seeing a lot of FUD take place with BNB. If y'all didn't see, there was an interview where uh, I believe it's the Nasdaq interview CZ, the CEO of Binance, and they were asking him some sticky questions. Now I don't want to create any FUD, but you know they were putting pressure on him as if he may be the next exchange to go down. So I'm not saying it is, this is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence, but y'all know I recommend not leaving your crypto on these centralized exchanges. Learn about cold wallets, even if you have to use a hot wallet, self custody is where it's at, whether you wanna use uh, you know, uh, Ledger, Trezor, either even one of these MetaMask, um, you know, trust type of wallets, I prefer those over you just leaving it on a centralized exchange. Now, always do what's best for you. Remember, you don't have to do what I'm telling you to do because this is not financial advice. But we got Dogecoin at eight cent down 4.4%. Cardano sitting at 29 cent down two and a half percent right now. We got Polygon at 87 cent down 2.9%. So we can see, you know, on average, we, everything is down around two and a half to around, you know, 4% right now. So we're keeping an eye as well if we see any outliers, anything that is heavily discounted for the day. So Litecoin sitting at number 13 by market cap is at $72, down 4% today. We've been seeing Litecoin hover around that $75 range for you know uh, about a week or two. We got Solana at $14.00 and two cent almost down one percent for the day tron at number 15 at five cent uh basically trading sideways and then we got shiba inu at number 16 by market cap meaning it is the 16th largest cryptocurrency of when it comes to value so uh at that 88 level right now down 1.3 percent now we seen you know a lot of foot in the market a lot of people you know impatient you know wondering you know why isn't it why isn't it just happening faster and what you got to remember is shiba inu is you know it correlates with the rest of the market if bitcoin is down if ethereum is down you know shiba inu is going to receive some sympathy from that also you have to note that shiba inu is built on top of ethereum so anytime we see ethereum being hit you know uh down 3.2 percent for the day most likely shiba inu is going to feel that as well now uh granted it is holding a little stronger than ethereum for the day only down 1.3 percent but it's still nonetheless going to get some of that sympathy so now uh when we can't find too much information when we check you know the lead developers pages when we check uh you know some of the top community community members pages and we don't find anything we have to come and see what the community is talking about so shout out to everybody posting inside of here also shout out to all the real ones rocking with the channel let's see what we got man we're going to answer a few questions from the community you know take a look at what are the biggest topics people are talking about just in case you've missed anything uh let's see so someone say we still believe it or not i believe he's holding around what is that seventy five thousand in sheep right now so uh you know he's just showing those gains right there saying you know are we still believing or not he still has a decent sized bag let me know in the comment section are you still believe you know are you in you know do you still believe in the sheep army do you still believe in crypto or has all that's been taking place did enough to shake you around and make you skeptical now let me know in the comment section so uh thoughts about this we get a post uh look like someone trying to create a card game 548 upvotes on this one fraud is fraud your honor how could my client possibly be charged with fraud if crypto isn't real money 
So uh, somebody making a meme, uh, like a joke out of the FTX situation. Basically, if you don't know the story behind this guy right here, he was uh, one of the top wealthy crypto billionaires at the age of 30. And uh, even before then, I believe at 29, he became a billionaire. But he created one of the top largest exchanges and, you know, had the Miami Heat Arena renamed after FTX sponsored uh, athletes like Tom Brady, Steph Curry, you know, uh, and basically raised all this money onto his exchange where people used basically his uh, company as like a bank or ex a, a crypto exchange to be able to buy and sell different cryptocurrencies. And in total, he had around $16 billion of customer funds on this exchange. And he basically, you know, uh, scammed everybody for it, essentially. So he was investing in highly uh, speculative uh, investments, borrowing his other company money, you know, just doing all types of crazy things. But uh, this is definitely, you know, uh, affecting the overall markets right now. Let's see. Hold on one second. Hello? Yeah, be good. Thank you. Okay, my bad, y'all, but let's see. Okay, so that's right now a weighing on the market heavily. To me, I believe we were supposed to see a mini bull rally towards the end of the year. We got some, uh, you know, some glimpse of it was looking like it wanted to be doing better, but once this happened, everything just, you know, fell apart again. Basically, uh, prices dropped. I don't mean to be too dramatic about it, but that's how most people looked at it. It definitely hit the market hard. Now, uh, a big uh, fight going on right now, a big argument is Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank, a well-known investor, is basically saying Binance scheme against FTX. So he's saying that Binance is possibly, you know, uh, part responsible for helping this crash take place. Now, everybody knows FTX and Binance were main competitors, so Binance, you know, could have had some type, allegedly could have had some type of incentives to see FTX basically crash, but that basically led to the rest of the market, you know, almost uh, falling apart or, or definitely uh, a lot of confidence leaving the market. So let's see, let's find another one. This is a good way to identify which one of these posts are, uh, you know, more interesting or valuable. You look at the number of upvotes that it has and you can see what the people that are also investing into this coin, just like you and I are, you know, have to say. This is where you can come see what the community's uh, voice is. So anyone uh, have to sell any sheep due to recession and financial reasons? That's a good question right there. That's a really good question. I'm curious on this one. So let's take a look at if anyone has hit that point where they've had to start selling their sheep just because they need it for money for bills and whatnot. So uh, let's see. Okay, we good. So, uh, doing everything else before I have to, almost broke, and that's no frills, normal life, was going good, now live week to week. Everything goes up, wish my pay rate did that. Maybe regular life would be possible, cutting out all joy spending and a lot of good foods, adding more work and more gas money. It's a shitty cycle, and that's just me, and that's just me and a cat living to pay bills every month on time alone under 24 7 stress is not life worth living much longer she so hopefully y'all are being able to hold it together there man that didn't sound too you know uh you know positive there so uh you know hopefully he he gets some strength over there but uh sorry to hear someone says know that you're not the only one stay strong uh someone else says stay focused you got this someone else says uh or he responded and said promise my cat a fancy litter box with the expensive crystals one day and we will feast on fresh meat in the long run not gonna quit the game they like so uh let's see at the price it is now you would have to sell billions to cover any desperate financial situation uh, someone else says, no, the money in sheep is staying in sheep. I'll take a heavy loss if I sell right now. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind as well. You never really take a loss until you actually sell the asset. It's just a paper loss. The loss is just on paper. Let's say you bought in, let's just say $1,000 worth and the price pulled back 50 cent or 50%. You could say, you know, you're down 50%, but you didn't actually lose 50% until you locked that sale in. So keep that in mind as well. Um... Uh, 
Someone said, ended up selling out my portion, 110 million, was still up 60% to be honest, but it is what it is. Need to bring liquidity back to safer areas. The economy needs to embrace for higher benchmark rates and the effects haven't fully impacted our economy yet. So I think there will be more waves of panic in 2023, which will create further and a better buying opportunity then. So if y'all have been following, you know, uh, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell has been talking about uh you know interest rates and inflation and they uh decided to raise interest rates again this time but only by 50 basis points you know the last few times they met they've been raising it by 75 basis points so they're being a little less aggressive however he did still let us know that you know 2023 can still be rough so that means you know you should be careful on spending you know don't just waste money you know uh look for side hustles extra you know jobs ways to bring in other money you know and uh you know, look at which assets you're holding, which ones you think will be more valuable to, you know, that you have the most confidence in and, you know, continue to dollar cost average into those assets that you have that faith in. Because when the market turns around, those ones are going to be the ones you wishing you bought more of. But uh, that's all we pretty much got for this video, man. Let's see if we got uh, another interesting post before we get up out of here. Uh, let's see. She burn wallet question. What's the purpose of the outgoing ERC 20 interactions if it isn't a burn wallet? So I'm not sure what they're asking. Let's try to take a look. Because it's not a burn wallet. I literally clicked your link, went to the wallet pro, uh, profile, view ERC20 tokens, and it shows the outgoing interaction. It's the same thing from earlier. Why don't you articulate what you're trying to say instead of, so yeah, this is a little confusing. You know, sometimes people see things they don't like and, you know, or just question things and create fun, but, you know, just people being people, that's all. So, will we be next? She be Inu investment of $670 turns to $1.7 million in one year. I'm sure uh, most of y'all that have been around heard that story already. If you haven't, there was an investor early on that put in $670 into Shiba Inu. And in one year time, that grew to $1.7 million. And he would have had even more, but he ended up selling during that first pump during May. He didn't uh, sell during the October you know, super uh, rally that we had. But man, I think our time is still coming. The space is just beat up right now. You got to realize Voyager, Celsius, Luna, uh, FTX, BlockFi, all these things gave the space a black eye right now. So we're going to have to withstand some type of pain. Just be prepared for that. You know, don't over leverage yourself. Don't risk more than you're willing to lose. Because then when it comes time to needing money for emergencies and whatnot, you're not going to have it. And that's going to make you want to panic sell out of your position. So in order to be able to diamond hand, to be able to be confident in your investments, only putting in small amounts at a time and let it grow over time. But that's all we got for this video. Appreciate y'all for pulling up. And we are out.